Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a couple of different models of dropper post that come in 27.2 millimeters. Really hard standard to find because there's very few bikes that actually use it. Although we are seeing more bikes coming in in the 27.2 as the gravel scene kind of grows. So we're gonna look at a couple here. I know there are a lot of folks out there that have the Polygon Extrada, maybe are riding a Cannondale Scalpel or some other cross country bikes that actually use the 27.2 standard. And I'm gonna look at two options. One is a budget option and one is the kind of an average priced option. And we're gonna take a look at these and compare them pros and cons The dropper I originally chose for my Polygon Extrada was a KS E10i with 100 millimeters of travel. And the reason I bought this was because I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I wanted something that would just get the seat out of the way. I didn't need something crazy. So this is what I bought. It ran about a little over $100, might have been $115. It's internally routed. It has much of the features you'll see on any other dropper. One thing I do actually like is the way the seat, the, the seat rail clamped works. Uh, it's, very, it's very easy. It uses a single, single bolt instead of two bolts, so it's a lot, easy to, a lot easier to install. But the one thing about it, there were a few things I didn't like about it that I wanted to change. So I went out and I ordered a PNW Rainier Gen 3. Uh, this one is 125 millimeters of drop, so it's gonna be longer a drop. Uh, but what's nice about it, it has a adjustable travel and you don't even need to remove it from the bike to do that. And here you can see, this is really awesome because you can adjust this on the fly. So you can see here, there are marks, so uh, no, no change to the redu no reduction, five millimeter reduction, 15 millimeter reduction, 25. So there's a little, little hash marks here to tell you where to install it. So there is a little piece here that you're gonna need to get out with uh, gently. It's a plastic piece, there you go, it's the shim. And you see where it's at, they see the arrow. It is on zero, so we're gonna take it and reduce it by, let's say 15 millimeters. I'm gonna guess that that's roughly where I'm gonna be. We can, again, adjust it very easily. And then let's extend that out. So now it's extended a little bit, it's extended less than what it was before. So in this case, if we were at 125 and we should be at 110 now, and that is exactly where we are. Yep. Uh, it does use a traditional two bolt rail system here uh, for the clamping and uh, it's um, highly regarded and comes with a lifetime warranty. So for $199, it's really not a bad value at all, uh, but it is longer. And so there's potentially a fitment issue in the medium polygon Extrada because in the Extrada, like a lot of cross country bikes, they will have water, bo water bottle mounts both on the down tube as well as on the seat tube. So installing the right dropper will make a world of difference. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to slam your dropper on, on the bike. It doesn't have to be all the way down. As long as it's within that realm, there's usually a mark typically on, on the dropper, which here you'll see minimum insertion. Uh, same thing on this one, there's a minimum insertion line. So as long as it's inserted below that, you're good to go. And in 90% in of the cases, 99% of the cases, that's gonna be fine. You're gonna have plenty of room to get that minimum insertion in there. The idea is you just wanna get the seat out of the way in moments where you need it. If you are tucking so low, that means you're probably dirt jumping or doing tricks. But if you're trail riding, you don't necessarily need the seat to be completely down almost to the rear wheel. You just need it to be out of your way so that you can maneuver and get your, get your butt out of the way. Because like for me, I have these big, big ham hocks that I can't get around a typical saddle on a mountain bike. I get, I get caught up on, on the back part. So it's kind of nice to get it be below, further down so that you can get your legs out of the way. So one of the things that's a big pet peeve for a lot of people that have cross country bikes is these water bottle cage mounts. And the thing is, is that there's a, they're riveted into the seat tube so that you can mount a bottle cage here as well as here. 
And for cross country racers and riders, typically you need a lot of water because you're constantly pedaling for a lot of miles. So what happens is, is you end up having, sometimes the seat post doesn't go all the way down. So for some people who want to bring the seat post lower, they have to cut it if they have just a standard seat post. Um, as far as the droppers go, sometimes these droppers end up being a better, better workout better because they'll go in, but then they collapse into, into itself and thus giving you a little more range. But in the case of the KS E10i, it will go down almost all the way. I mean, pretty much, that is pretty much all the way. I mean, it's, it could go down maybe a millimeter, two millimeters more, but you can slam it almost all the way down. Now it's a hundred millimeters of travel on this dropper. So what, what that means is that if you, unless you have really short legs, you're probably gonna mount it a little bit higher, which is what I did. Now the PNW is gonna be longer because it's 125 mil of drop and the body is gonna be a longer body than this one and it's noticeably longer. So this one only goes down to about there. Now this one, I've effectively lost drop. So that's of concern. So if you're using a long dropper, like the PNW Rainier, you're actually sitting much higher now than if you went with a 100 millimeter dropper. And that kind of sucks. So um, that stack height is not, is not ideal for this bike, um, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right, for another perspective on the size. So now I've clamped this to the height that where I would want my seat to sit. So as you can see, I have here rough this exactly to the height that I would want my saddle. So you can see how much there is sticking out from the base of the, of the seat tube to the, uh, to the beginning of the stanchion. So we're looking at about three inches. So I have this raised up 70 millimeters. Let's see what the PNW looks like at the same height. Now the PNW, one of the benefits of it, it has adjustable drop. So I can change it from 125 down to as low as 100. So I can reduce it by 25 millimeters and that can be done without tools. So let's put that on there. Let's make the adjustment and then see what happens. All right, here's the PNW. I reduced it by 15, centim 15 millimeters and I think this should be the height that I need this at. Let's take a look. So let's measure where we're at as far as drop. So here again, we are actually at a little over, just a little bit over three inches, maybe three, almost three and a half inches raised up. So this is actually a half inch higher than the KS, but I can reduce the travel down to 100 millimeters. And I think I should be right in the same zone. Might actually be I don't know, might be a little bit, might be a little bit off, but we'll see. We're gonna, we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna take it for a ride and see if it works. All right, we're gonna take off the cable. The way the KS mounts, it uses, it fits the opposite. So the part that has the little nub actually fits at the dropper lever, not at the dropper itself. At the, where the dropper is, there is a pinch bolt that goes on and you have to get it pretty precise for it to work properly. And that's one of my pet peeves with the KS is that that really is difficult because then you got to cut it down, you got to cut it cleanly and it has to be the exact height. And they give you a tool to do that with. But the problem is, is it doesn't just doesn't really, it's not as intuitive as doing it the traditional way when you're working with a dropper post. Careful, careful, careful. There we go. All right, let's adjust the saddle. But we're gonna take in for a quick test spin. It's a little bit rainy out, but. Oh yeah. Nice and smooth, it works good. If we don't like the height, I still have another 10 millimeters I could drop this.
So yeah, it fits, um, but barely. So size matters, definitely matters. If you have short legs, a long dropper post isn't always gonna help you. In this case, because I couldn't get this all the way down past the water bottle cage mounts, I had to reduce the travel down to 100 millimeters and literally at the limit of what's, of what's tolerable. So now I have a good pedaling position but if, I, if my legs were a bit shorter, or if this was a smaller bike, uh, then I'd probably be in trouble. So will I keep this post? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And the reason why I'm gonna keep it is because I like the way this one mounts better. Much easier to adjust. Uh, didn't catch, catch this on camera, but before I took, went out for that quick ride, I went to go use the dropper and something had slipped. So when I had inserted it, it had come loose. It was a super easy adjustment fixed it here at the lever and I was done. When I've had that issue with the KS, the problem was because of that little pinch bolt at the top, sometimes that slips, sometimes it's not properly set up. Something happens when the cable stretches and you have to take the whole thing out and redo it. So that's why I've opted to keep this one. I can readjust it and down the road if I decide maybe there's some other bike I can use it on. I like the lifetime warranty as well. So as long as it keeps working, I'll be good. Uh, so I'm gonna keep using this one. The KS, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that one. Um, maybe I'll give it away to one of you lucky viewers, but I need to hear from you guys in the comments. I need you to subscribe and I need you to hit that thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. I thank you for watching and I look forward to you guys having a great riding season. Thanks a lot.